Hey guys, I'm still burned out, but unfortunately I've discovered something. And it's very important to talk about because it kind of affects me a lot. As you know, I do emulation, I use Rayujinx, I uh, play heavy IPC intensive games. And it's one of those things that kind of affects that entirely. There's a list of games that I'm actually going to bring up on my side so I can end up seeing it. Uh, these games are as follows. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Pokemon Violet, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. These are the most intensive IPC heavy games that you can get on the Switch and in the Switch emulator in general. Now, I have mods for these games that let me have dynamic frames per second. And because of that, it lets me play at around 4K, 1440p, depending on the game. And if I want to enjoy myself, that means I need to be 60 FPS or faster. On Linux, using the NVIDIA Vulkan, it, the, the driver itself is affected. Uh, I had a friend of mine... The main, one of the main developers of Pico OS test his 7900 XTX. And he did not have this issue that I did on Linux. In fact, he had better performance on Linux than on Windows when it came to Pokemon Violet. I was very impressed. And honestly, it really did let me know that there's mainly a problem not with my system. Because I also tested this on my laptop. Same results. But there's an issue with the NVIDIA with how NVIDIA does its Vulcan driver, okay? So, I don't know where we begin with this, but I think we have to begin with recording performance, all right? That's what I'm going to try to do, is record performance. By the way, this is the full ability of my webcam. Pretty cool, huh? Being in HDR. Kind of nice. I like it. Freaking me out a little bit. The blur is not perfect, but we're jumping out of my... I'm getting distracted. I always get distracted. No more distractions. I'm going to do my best. Get this done. Alright, so first things first is we need to go into Breath of the Wild. Because I need you to show you the performance that we're getting on Windows. 9900X, temporary CPU, and a 4070, okay? So we're going to jump in to... The Great Plateau, which is a good place, and we're going to stare off the cliff because that is a benchmark spot that I use uh, a lot. Now, I wish I could do all this fancy stuff with my webcam on Linux. That would be nice, but background removal has no plans of updating their CUDA to an actual modern version. So, this is our benchmark spot. One second, let me turn off my display to the, uh, there we go. Uh, as you can see, we're about 80 to 86 FPS. Trust me, we can get more if I wasn't recording in such uh, a high resolution, I guess it is. And, in fact, I think if I go to my stream, my output settings, and we put this to variable bitrate like that uh does the fps improve i didn't think so people are just like constant bit rates a problem it's going to suck your fps dry it really doesn't that's a lie by the way yeah so even at fast low quality it's still the same as slowest to best quality that's kind of crazy uh, let's do a single pass with no look ahead and a dot of conversation. Okay, uh, I think that should hopefully be good. Now we've been sitting here. Um, I don't know how to reset the averages and stuff, but our average was about 80. And again, if we go and look up, clearly we're going to get more FPS, but this is the main view. This is a hard view to do, and... Yeah, this gives me the most consistent amount of frames per second, which was what matters. Hey, we just hit 90 for a second. Nice. 
So here's our benchmark. We're going to go from here. And we're pretty much going to... Um, Why is she like this? Why does she need all this attention? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll save the world when I damn well please to save the world. And we're going to run this way. While trying to stay uh, looking at the Temple of Time. Now we are building shaders as we're doing this. So you have to understand that. It's not the perfect benchmark that I wanted, but again, uh, this will give you a pretty good consistency of what's going on. And we're going to go right under here. And we're done. On to the next game. Now, because this is a Pokemon we uh, game, we're going to completely be muting the audio, but this is our benchmark. Literally right here. So as you can see, I get about... Well, let's let it kick in here in a second, because it's got to deal with PPTC, but... Uh, we can't get frames per second because, well, the FPS monitor has cropped out on us. Because I want to have a clear picture of what's going on, and it's not letting me. Let's minimize that. There we go. 60 FPS staring up at that tree. This tree used to cripple my FPS, by the way. So, there's that. And I think PPTC is starting to build normally now. So, yeah. Now, the benchmark is, we're going to run down to the crossroads real quick. Well, it's not actually a crossroads, but you get the point. So, let's get going. Okay? Remind you, we're in Vulcan. I want Vulcan versus Vulcan. All right? And uh, Vulcan was made and designed and coded on Windows when it comes to Rayajinx. And I don't really think I ever had time to voice my issues about the performance on Linux, but it was never this bad before. So this is where we're going to stop, okay? We're going to make sure we see that fan over there, that little uh, thing up on top of the roof. And we're going to look that way. Right at that tree. As you can see, it's the same hard spot as the other thing. Now, our best FPS is this way, which is about 105. So, when we get into Linux, you're going to notice there's a lot of performance loss. We're talking about a massive amount of performance loss, even on the newest 6.11.8 kernel, which I compiled today. Uh, because I was trying to find the reason why everything just ended up regressing so much. No matter how many drivers, how far I went back, it was always the same result. And the Vulcan was just slower. So I'm hoping that this video will help NVIDIA realize that there's something wrong that they can look into, be it with this emulation or with actual games themselves. Because we are going to test Cyberpunk, which we're doing next. I just want two games from the Switch, technically three, because Tears of the Kingdom is next, that showcase the performance. Anyway, on to the next one, right? All right, so let's go over the settings real quick. As you can see, we're going to keep frame generation on because I want to show you something. And also, we have DLS reconstruction on, and I usually just end up playing at performance because I end up wanting the best performance possible, right? We have ultra rate, uh, ray tracing. And as you can see, we have motion blur off along with all these things, but everything else here is completely maxed. The one thing we don't need on is this. Let's see if I can get rid of this. It's because, well, we already have ray tracing on, so there's no point. Screen space. Gibble garble. I also have the audio for this game completely off, but for you guys, I'm going to turn it back on because it's part of our benchmark, I guess. No, it's not. I'm just saying that. I don't know why. Let's jump in. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Yep. So this is our benchmark area. We're at about 130 FPS with uh, frame generation on. Hey, like, give me one sec. I'm going to turn on the sound. There we go. 
Oh, wait. Uh, music volume. No. Radio volume. No. Radio porn. No. Yeah. Uh, so this is nice. Isn't this nice? Who just honked their horn? So, on Windows, DLSS frame generation actually does something in this game. On Linux, it does not. It's annoying. So, anyway, I'm going to turn that off. Uh, graphics. We're going to just turn that off. Great. And we're getting about 85 to 86 FPS. Okay. So, we're going to go from here. And we're going to run up to a very busy area. Literally run. Because running enables the streaming, I guess. Actually, you know what? Let's grab our car. Jackie liked our car. Let's drive. So as you see, our performance isn't bad. 90 FPS, nice. We're gonna stop right here. And we're just gonna park. That's it. We're gonna look at this area. <laughs> oh yeah? Now, we're going to just pan real quick. And that's it. Now what do we do? Well, now... Now what we do is we have to get the same exact results. I'm lagging really bad. I love that. Now we have to get the same exact results on Linux. Or we just have to record the same games. It should be pretty simple, right? Let's go have some fun. Before I do, uh, I want to go into here. Yes, oh, you guys can't see that. I'm using Heroic Game Launcher, okay? And I want to force an upload of that save that I just had to make it easy for myself to just jump in, force it to download, and go. Now, there's some oddities when it comes to Windows that I've noticed. And uh, those oddities are uh, things download slower. Linux is, has more consistent download and upload speeds. Windows is less consistent where it's more all over the place. And I guess that has to do with the fact that I use the Cache OS kernel, which has actual fixes for that stuff. Kind of cool. Let's see, go to advanced, are we synced? settings and stuff are changed great hopefully this will be fine if it's not it's not i can get back to that same spot okay uh, wish me luck doing a video like this is kind of hard to do uh for many reasons in fact well you have to have the same consistent environment and that's kind of difficult but i will have all my extensions off that's one thing we're going to do I'm going to use in-application game recording to make sure that the FPS is consistent. And we're going to try to do our best. Now, I would normally include another game in this uh, besides just Cyberpunk. Maybe I should. You know, let's do one more. So, you all know Guild Wars 2 by now. You know this area. Well, not this area. Is it this area? Why am I over here? One second. I need to get to the actual benchmark area. So I consider this area my benchmark area because it allows me to go like this. That's a butthole, my bad. It allows me to zoom in and this area right here is considered my lightest area. On Linux, it's 250 FPS locked. On Windows, it's 245. I know, I know. This isn't in Linux. This isn't in DirectX. This isn't in Vulkan though. But it still counts because this is a DirectX 11 game. That's where this counts. 
because then you know that it's not just affecting DirectX 12 titles, but it's also <clears throat> affecting DirectX 11 titles. Vulcan, nonetheless, when on Linux. This is hard to explain, but I'm doing my best. So this is my benchmark area. And as you can see, it's about 115, 110 FPS on Windows. But on Windows, we can do this magical thing where we can take the shadows. The shadows are at none. Oh. Oh, right. We have to give it a second. Yeah, just give it a second. For some reason, this area takes a while to kick in. Here, let's do this. Does that help? No, really? Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, let's let's call that the benchmark right there. Yeah. So on Wind on, on Linux, I get about 97 FPS in this area. We have shadows set to none. We're going to turn them up to medium. Still way more FPS than Linux. Which really makes me think, why? I, I can't think of a reason why, besides the driver, the NVIDIA driver. And I wouldn't be bringing this up if it wasn't really an issue. But it's an issue. This, uh, this bugs me a lot. I like the fact that I can finally play it at, like, a crap ton of FPS. But, really, I mean, look at this. That's so cool. That's so smooth, too. The animations, like everything. But it still bugs me. All right, let's 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 go back to Linux. Okay, well, it's a lot worse than I actually thought it was. I don't, I'm not sure if it's the kernel I changed to or what, uh, but the conclusion's pretty simple. I'm missing a lot of performance in the games. Yeah. Not as much in Cyberpunk, but if you have noticed in the Cyberpunk, uh, what do you call it? Frame generation just did not work at all. I don't know what's going on with it, but it does not work like it does on Windows. And I think it still needs a lot more work to be implemented before it's even on par. And I'm sure they're going to figure out how to fix it somehow. There's nothing over on that monitor. It's just Discord's distracting me. Uh, Breath of the Wild was really bad. Well, not that bad, but yeah. Mm. I'm not sure what to think of this. If you guys want to help me out at all, if you guys could do some benchmarking, compare between Windows and Linux, and drop it in the Discord, that would be great. I want to gather as much evidence as I possibly can so that I'm able to, you know, uh, make a post, a forum post, a really big one, a long one with lots of proof and stuff. You're on AMD. Uh, test Guild Wars 2 Cyberpunk, give me your Windows, give me your Linux, let me know what's going on, you know? And uh, it will help out a lot, because if we can prove this is an NVIDIA issue, then we can get this issue solved. If we can prove anything at all to help get this fixed, that would be great, because that much of missing performance between two OSs is not expected and should not have happened. Uh, in games like Far Cry 5, it, windows and linux are just the same so it's not every game that's a problem it's just ones that require a lot of single core ip speed ipc speed yeah that's the one anyway if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like this video share this video uh, don't do with the silly comments today I, i'm i'm trying to get something fixed so you know be more serious more helpful that would be great. Again, this is the same system, same hardware, same OBS settings for recording, same everything. The only difference is Windows and Linux. That's all. And I even recorded all these benchmarks on Linux without my extensions on, so nothing extra heavy was enabled. Bye, guys.